guys, what's going on? It's Justin from the Nintendo Dads podcast. And today, buckle yourself in, sit down, calm down, guys. It is June 31st. And what does June 31st mean? Well, it means this happened today. Mighty Number no. 9 actually released today. Uh, and of course, Mighty Number no. 9 is the spiritual successor, or at least that's the way it was positioned, is a spiritual successor to the Mega Man series. One of the most beloved series ever. Uh, one that I hold very dearly. I am a huge Mega Man fan. I love playing it. So when I heard that Mighty Number no. 9 uh, was spiritual successor, I was very interested. Now, I did not back the Kickstarter. Um, I did not. Others did. So when I heard it was coming out, I wanted to make sure I purchased it. I wanted to make sure I try it for uh, the Nintendo Dads podcast as well. Now, the game comes to us from Anafune, who is uh, who who asked for it on Kickstarter. Had some delays um, in, in getting it out. There was a lot of kind of anger on the internet. I get that. I understand. But, um, but it's out. Reviews are a little bit touch and go right now. I have not played it. This is obviously still sealed. But I want to kind of give you a little bit of an unboxing for it. Because um, most of you, actually a lot of you, grab the digital copy, not the physical copy. So I'm going to show this to you. All right, so I'm going to open up right now. Interestingly enough, when I was at EB Games, shout out to EB Games in Canada, I said, uh, hey, what's your return policy? Like, what's your sellback, right? If I don't like it, I can sell it back. Um, typically, I buy digital games, but I wanted to buy this one physical. Um, because of that very reason, I might want to give it back. He actually said to me, hey, if you don't like it and it's within the first three days, bring it back to us, we'll give you full store credit back. So he's like, if you don't like it or you finish it, three days, boom. So hmm, I might I might finish this off, we'll see. We'll take a quick look at the uh, the art, looks kinda nice, we've got the Nintendo Network sticker up here. Um, flipping it around, there's a lot of actual information on the back here, um, shows the different controls, shows some of the art, but actually what it mentions in here that this includes a array expansion pack, new uh, Vermin Destroyer stage, Boss Battles versus Ray, Play as Ray and her quest for answers, plus an art book and a double-sided poster. Um, and for the Nintendo Network ID, you can go online racing battle, co-op leaderboards, downloadable content. So from the offset of it, looks like there's a lot in this package, right? This cost uh, 35 Canadian, I think it's like 30 US. So a lot, you can tell, has kind of gone into this. Feels like there's a lot in here. Actually feels like there's content in here. Um, opening it up, there we go, actually. So there is some stuff. There's the actual... There's the actual disc. What is this? Um, so this is um, the Mighty Number no. Nine Retro Beck a Retro Pack. Actually, has a code on the very back of it to play as a as a retro inspired version of Beck. I'm gonna cover this code as much as I can. You can kind of see that it looks like kind of like a most what I would call a, a Minecraft look, and then some Ray content. So that's that's in there. Um, Oh, geez, there is, you know what, actually, there's a ton in here. The art book for Mighty Number no. 9, you can kind of see all the, all the different characters in there. Mighty Number no. 7, Mighty Number no. 5, so there's a, and it's pretty hefty, like, there's a good, there's a good amount of content in that, actually, so that's, if you're into art books, pretty cool, all right, we'll take that. Um, a poster, a Mighty Number no. 9 poster, let's see what's in here. Standing back to open this, I apologize. So we've got uh, looks kind of very, you know, very reminiscent of the first, uh, the image in the very front of it, and then on the back, it's more of kind of a, a landscape view of it as well. So yeah, a fair bit of content in there, which actually kind of shocks me. Kind of shocks me that there's that much content, to be completely honest. Um, yeah. So yeah, pretty impressive actually for what was in here from a swag component, right? Lots of little things. If you like collectors, so that's cool, but what does it really boil down to? Simply boils down to how does this game actually play? Is it a spiritual successor to Mega Man? Is it worth the $35? Those are the questions that you wanna know. Those are the questions that I wanna know. So here's what's gonna happen. We, I, we, I am going to play this uh, over the next couple days, and I'm gonna give you my first hands-on impressions of it on this Wednesday's Nintendo Dads. Uh, there's a lot of reviews already that's out there. I'm trying to stay unbiased, I'm trying to just give my opinion of playing it, not having vested money in the in the Kickstarter, not feeling like I'm financially invested in some way, being a fan of Mega Man, those are the approaches that I'm gonna take for my review. So guys, thanks very much. Um, more to come on this very soon. Hopefully you guys like this unboxing video. Um, as always, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, all those things. Um, yeah, thanks very much guys. Have a great day, we'll talk to you soon.